Hello everybody, we're going to be taking a look at some of the smaller details in Ground Branch. I've been playing this game for about 45 hours now. Bought it a couple of weeks ago when I was on sale and I've noticed quite a few little details which uh, has kind of prompted me to go ahead and make this video and uh, perhaps start doing some videos about other games. We're going to be looking at some of the smaller visual details that might go unnoticed by most people unless they're pointed out, so let's get into it. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the inside of a rifle. This is the inside of an AKM. I've taken a look at most of the other rifles and weapons, but I think this has the most detail inside. You can see the safety lever, the recoil spring, and the, uh, the guide rods inside of it. The magazine and the ammunition inside. You can see the bolt carrier, and when you go around the other side, you can see the bolt as well, which looks like this in real life. You can also look down the barrel of the weapon. This one doesn't have any rifling in it like it should, but some of the other ones do, which is pretty cool. One thing I really like about the inside of this is the detail they put into the recoil spring and the guide rod. Um, you've got the spring and then you've got the rod inside, which is actually made up of two parts that link together. And um, I, so I don't know if they actually move in the game when the shots are being fired but it'd be pretty cool if it actually does compress but I, I don't know if it does so this is the last thing we're going to look at on the ak this is the cleaning rod that kind of is it kind of clips underneath the barrel and sticks inside of the foregrip here as you can see and again it's one of those things which you're not well i don't think you're ever going to use and uh, they've gone ahead and modeled it, even though they don't really have to. So it shows that they, they put a lot of care into this. Here's some BF Goodrich tires on a Land Rover. Maybe not very interesting, but there you go. You see that little thing on that dude's helmet? That's an infrared strobe that lets you identify your friends at night time when you're wearing night vision goggles. Now it's pretty small and doesn't look like there's much to it but if you zoom in you can actually see there's a battery circuitry and little screws holding the plastic cap on top on the side of the mag pouches you can see the high speed gear logo they're a company that makes mag pouches plate carriers belts and that kind of stuff this dude's got some weird tiny blue veins on his arm looks like some like some robot veins or something i don't know pretty weird this is cool you can look down other people's optics like you don't have to be the actual person holding the gun to see the reticule inside of it which is awesome ESS is a company that makes protective eyewear as you can see they've got the logo on the inside of this dude's glasses and on the outside of this guy's goggles Here's a big 2D oil rig that you can see off in the distance on the oil tanker map. Here's the inside of one of the M4 style rifles. I can't remember which one it was, but they're pretty much all the same. And here you can see the locking lugs where the bolt locks in against the barrel. This is underneath the handguard of the HK416. You've got the, the piston here which cycles the rifle. You've also got the caliber written on the barrel, although it is, I believe it's inverted or something. There's some strange thing going on with it. I believe this is inside the HK416. You can see the, the bolt has locked into the locking lugs here. Pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. This is a one of the Magpul foregrips. I find it pretty cool because you got the uh, the Magpul logo as the uh, the grip texture, just like in real life. Here's a uh, PEC-15 laser thingamajig. It's like, it's got the lasers and the infrared laser and all that built into it. It's got some stuff written on it. So you get all this little wavelength and danger. Watch out for laser beams kind of stuff on it. So yeah, watch out for that. Here's a Magpul P-Mag. It's got your little little picture of the, the round at the top there. It tells you what caliber it is and which direction it goes. Pretty nifty, I think. Here's an EOTech site. What I thought was interesting was the uh, little little wire that holds the battery cap on. So if you're changing your battery, you don't lose your battery cap. 
Now, this is one of the coolest things, is some of the detail on the character models. Like, look at this guy's eye. Look at the, the lens in front of his eye, or the cornea, as the scientists call it. And look at his skin. Look at this. You can, like, see these weird little bumps and stuff. Like, it's... Look at that. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, I might be doing another one on Farming Simulator, so yeah, if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, I'll do that, and then I'll, uh, I'll see what else I got in my Steam list. I'm sure there's some games that I haven't really looked too deep into, but that will have some, some hidden details that we can, we can dive into. Anyway, until next time, farewell.